Hi everybody. In this video we'll be reviewing the central dogma of molecular biology. This is the central teaching. In it we're going to discuss three different processes. First, replication. This is when DNA is copied, so DNA produces more DNA. This has to happen in cells before the process of cell division can occur. Second, we'll talk about the process of transcription. This is when DNA, a template strand, is used to produce an RNA molecule. So when DNA is used to produce RNA, this is the process of transcription. Finally, we'll look at the process of translation. This is when the RNA molecule will be read by a ribosome in order to produce a polypeptide or a protein. We're going to use a website from PBS called DNA Workshop. Many of my students have let me know that uh, this may not work in some uh, more modern browsers, so I've recorded a video to uh, allow students who aren't able to use the Shockwave version to see the video and understand how these processes of replication, transcription, and translation occur. First, let's look at the process of DNA replication. So here we see a very cartoony version of DNA. Notice that we're located inside the nucleus of a eukaryotic cell. Uh, we've got a nucleus here, so we have a eukaryotic cell. In order for the DNA to be copied, the first thing that needs to happen is that it will be unzipped. Now, in our cartoon version here, we see the entire DNA molecule being unzipped. In reality, a real DNA molecule in a cell, only a portion of the DNA molecule is unzipped at any one given point in time. Uh, so the text here tells us in real cells, the molecule unwinds from spools made of proteins, then untwists. Here the molecule is already unwound and untwisted. We see that here. The DNA now resembles a ladder. Enzymes, special kinds of proteins, move up the ladder, breaking the rungs. Let's click on OK and continue the process of DNA replication. In order to replicate our DNA, we now have our double-stranded molecule, which has been pulled apart. We need to find the complementary nucleotides. Those are located here. Those will be located inside the nucleus of the cell. And we need to remember the base pairing rules. A pairs with T, G pairs with C. So where I have a C here, I need to place a G right here. A goes with T, T to A. I'll go ahead and complete this strand. Oops. So we can see that I've completed one DNA molecule, the process of replication. Let's do a quick reminder about what a nucleotide actually contains. So the four different nucleotides contain different nitrogenous bases. They have abbreviations of A, T, G, and C. This is short for adenine, thymine, guanine, and cytosine. Now the white bar that you see attached to each nucleotide is the backbone of the DNA molecule. In DNA this is composed of a sugar, deoxyribose, plus a phosphate group. Let's go ahead and complete the other DNA strand. Again remembering the base pairing rules, C will pair with G, A with T, I need a T to pair with the A here, and I'll continue on down. and A. All right, we've now completed our process of replication. Let's read here. Our new DNA molecule consists of only a few base pairs. In real DNA, the human genome contains three billion base pairs. So we'd have a, a really long process to completely copy all of human DNA. Please note that the two DNA molecules right here and right here should be 100% identical. Uh, also, we need to take note of um, the uh, name given to this process. It's called semi-conservative replication. And we see that on this DNA molecule, the left-hand side was the strand from the original molecule. The right-hand side is the newly created stand, strand. Sorry. So semi-conservative means we're saving half the molecule from what existed before. Half the molecule is newly created. On this DNA molecule, this half, the right-hand side, was conserved from the original DNA molecule. The other strand is the newly synthesized um, sequence of nucleotides. 
if you're in an advanced course, you'll learn information about the directionality of the sugar phosphate backbone, 5' prime to 3'. Prime. I've ignored that for this video. Um, however, we need to understand that the DNA backbones run anti-parallel to each other. So we would have one backbone running in one direction, the other backbone running in the other direction. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful in your studies of molecular biology.